Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max and today we're going to be tying Pav's pupa. Uh, so great little midge pupa powder here. Um, going to be utilizing some Semperfly materials um, and we're tying on the Daiichi 1270 and this is a size 18. Um, good to go, super small in. Um, I'm just doing it in 18 so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, and I'll kind of include some tips in there that might help you tie it a little bit easier in some smaller sizes. Um, so in the vise I got that 1270 um, thread. I got some Semperfly uh, Nano Silk. Uh, this is the 18 knot. Um, I think it's a 30 denier. So I'm gonna get that started right behind the eye here. Make some wraps. My tension's a little tight. Uh, something I really like about the right bobbin, uh, you know, you can adjust your tension kind of as you're tying. Um, so, another plus to the right bobbins. So, lay that down on there. Snip out my tag. And we're just going to make a little thread body here. Work back to about where the barb is. And I'm going to keep flattening my thread out, so I'm going to be making counterclockwise turns. Uh, keep flattening that thread out as I go along here. So now I got some uh, light flex. Um, it's going to be hairline light flex. This is the brown. Uh, you could probably do it in a couple other colors. Um, so with the light flex, um, if you cut it or you kind of pick apart the ends, um, it'll split on you and kind of fray a little bit. I'm going to tie this in closer to the eye and then I'm going to make some thread wraps um, again with, to build up the thread body because you can kind of, this is a beige color so you can see through it pretty easily. Um, so I'm going to keep trying to bring that color back by just making more wraps and um, stretching it out a little bit also kind of helps kind of take the color away because um, we want this uh, beige to show underneath and kind of create that segmentation uh, with the body. So keep flattening the thread out. and probably have to make another pass or two over it. Um, and that's something really nice about the Nano Silk. Even when you're tying small bugs, um, it stays super slim. Um, so you can, you know, go over things uh, without adding too much bulk. So if you've never tried the Nano Silk, really give it a shot. Maybe one more coat. Now that beige is kind of becoming more dominant and we're building a little bit of a taper. So, looking pretty good. Beige is showing going through pretty well um, and you can hardly see uh, the life flex that we got in there. So now I'm going to make my rib. Um, I'm going to spread them out. Nice even wraps. Same thing, kind of stretching it out as I go. Capture that. Couple in front, couple behind. And pull it and snip it out real clean. And 
Now we're gonna throw a little bit of UV. Uh, this is the Lumen UV Thick. Um, so I'm gonna put a little dab on here. Then I'm gonna take a pot can and spread it around. Also helps with some durability in the fly. And I'll torch it. Now we're gonna make uh, the gills. Um, and to do that, we got some uh, CDC oiler puffs. Uh, this is the natural done. Uh, really nice natural color, kinda has a little bit of brown in there, uh, kinda tan. So we're gonna grab two of these guys. And these are gonna be the gills. And then to finish it off, we got some uh, K-Pock um, dubbing from Semperfly. Uh, this is the Adams color, um, and it really uh, matches this uh, natural done color very nicely. So this can be a little tricky, especially as you get smaller and smaller with the, with the fly. Um, so I'm just going to try to grab the tips of it to try and keep them all together. And lay that in there in kind of a loose wrap, try to keep it on the side. And then slide it back a little bit. And then I'll do the same thing on the far side, close side to you guys. And start snugging them up. Leave just enough on each side so that you can really kind of see the the head of the fly um, start mixing in with uh, the gills um, and the legs that would be on here. So pull those back, make some real tight securing wraps, and then I'll snip out the CDC. Pretty even there. So the K-Pock, uh, really nice, fine uh, dry fly dubbing, um, good for those small midges. And I'm going to do a small noodle on here. Don't want to build up too much bulk. Alright, so now we're going to start making our, uh, our head of the fly. Uh, we're going to be using a nice thin dubbing noodle here. Um, starting right up against the gills and working up towards the eye of the fly. Looks pretty good there. Um, take another little hit of zappy gap on my thread. Tiny little dab. And make a couple wraps. And then we can do a quick whip finish. Snip out my thread. 
gills are kind of spread around. And there you have it. Pat's pupa. Dirty little tailwater pattern.